guys, what's up? Uh, today I'm going to be giving you uh, Captain America the video game review. Alright, I want to start with the visuals. Uh, first of all, I just want to point out that this uh, Captain America looks better than pretty much 90% of the other superhero games I've played. Like, it's just like better polished, the game doesn't get boring for me and stuff. Uh, the game is really good, but it won't wow you. Like, kind of like how Gears of War wowed everyone and stuff like that. Uh, slow motion in the game never gets boring for me. I don't know why, but slow motion in video games, it's just pretty sweet. And they make it work in Captain America. It's very close to Arkham Asylum. If you like Arkham Asylum, you will like Captain America. Even though if, like, Captain America isn't your favorite superhero. Um, the frame rate, for some reason, I the, like the, fr uh, I I think the frame rate would get like kind of slow down or get choppy a little bit, but in the game it doesn't, which I really like. Uh, one thing I want to point out in the game is uh, Captain America's shield. Like that, they just made that thing stand out like no other. Like you think like Thor's hammer would stand out in the game or Superman's cape would stand out, but no, they made Captain America's shield just stand out amazing, which I loved using every second of that game. Even though like Captain America doesn't have powers kind of like Thor, or Superman, Spider Man. But the game company really makes it work, which I just love about this game. And another thing is, the cutscenes, it's, it's alright, you know, it's not really flashy or anything, but you know, it's kind of cool how they added in the game. And it uh, kind of gets you into the story. Alright, next I want to talk about the gameplay for Captain America. Uh, the game is really similar to Arkham Asylum. If you played Arkham Asylum, you will like Captain America, but Cap but Arkham Asylum is more, I don't know, more polished and detailed. I don't know, for the game company, how they made Captain America, he's more slick, kind of jumpy, around kind of guy, flips, cartwheels, kind of stuff. I wish the company would have made him more, uh more brute force I guess like make him more masculine but when he like he's doing cartwheels and jumping in the air it just makes him too look feminine I don't know if that's just me but I don't know uh, the free roaming in the game there's actually free roaming which really surprised me because I didn't think that game would be a free roaming kind of game uh, you can walk around it's actually a pretty decent big place um, one thing I liked too was the shield you used that a lot which was kind of cool throw it and stuff like that and uh Upgrades, which I like too. There wasn't a lot of upgrades, but you know there was some to keep the game more interesting. Like you can throw the shield, uh, like three or more enemies and stuff like that. You can charge at people, and once you beat the game, there's uh, challenges. It seems like the company just put it in there at the last second, just so there's not a just a campaign mode. Well, the challenges aren't that bad, but it's pretty much the same thing. There's ten enemies coming at you. Beat them under thirty seconds, kind of like that. Blah 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 stuff. And there's different uh, costumes, like you have the one right now, or the old one, and I think there's like three costumes, I believe, so yeah. Stories, uh, story hours for uh, Captain America, um, the video game. The, I played the game on like the middle difficulty, which probably lasted me seven to eight hours, and I was taking like taking like it slow. Plus, I was walking around a lot because I don't know where to go. Um, what you pay for the game for the full sixty bucks, I really don't think it's really worth that much. Even though I'm a big kind of Marvel DC kind of guy fan, um, to me the mo game is more of a rent. But I bought it just you know once again I'm a really big Marvel DC geeky kind of guy. Um, so if other people who are like average kind of gamers, I will actually rent that game and beat it because it's definitely a rent, but a buy is up to your choice if you want to pay the full 60 bucks for that game, which to be honest, I think the game is going to drop in price in a few months probably, I guarantee it. Next, I want to talk about the achievements for Captain America, uh, the video game. The achievements, you'll get like 70, 80% of through the campaign, if you, when you, when you play the campaign, you'll get most of the achievements, and they're pretty kind of fun to get, I guess. Uh, for me, I'm a big fan of achievements because they keep the game more interesting, and if the achievements are tougher, I kind of keep playing the game until I get that achievement. The Captain America doesn't really have those kind of achievements. They have, like, a few, like, beat the game on, like, hard or, you know, the hardest difficulty, but, you know, what game doesn't have that? So, Captain America, the achievements are pretty, like, really simple, except maybe a few, three or four. Uh, the rating I will give Captain America, the video game, is a 7.5. 
Uh, a plus is the campaign's really fun, and like like I said before, it's really similar to uh, Arkham Asylum, which was an amazing game. And the shield, I, that's one thing I really love because you know stand it out, and it just brightened the whole game. Uh, minus is the challenges aren't really interesting. Uh, they kind of pretty much shoved it in there at the last second, which I think they did. And Captain America, they didn't make him manly enough, which is just a weird thing to say. But to be honest, it just, I don't know, just popped out on me, which kind of bothered me in the game, which didn't make it as interesting as it should be. So that's my uh, review for Captain America, the video game.